right, I'm back again with this Dodge um, 2009 Chrysler Town and Country. And once again, I had to take the tire off because even though it had a code for the two or what was that, the two four solenoid circuit, after test driving, it went into fail safe mode and had another problem, another code which was uh, P083B low clutch pressure switch rationality okay so now I had to check this thing out again so took the tire and stuff back off took the plug out where the transmission uh, pins are and had to do some more testing at this solenoid and I found some more stuff and I'll show you what I found again Let's get this camera where you can see it alright there's the connector alright there's some more wires up here that was messed up wasn't completely broken but was messed up so right here this green wire with I think a gray stripe something like that let me see there's a dark green with a light blue okay dark green with a light blue which is this here I have this cut and have a jumper wire going to these two let's see here this is cut here this jumper wire um, right here I I'm have my meter stuck at the computer connector back probing so move this out the way out the way This way you can see. All right. Here's the other one. You will hear the meter beep when I touch this. You should. Oh, I don't have the alert on. Let's see here. So I'm touching that. Right, that's the wire that goes down there, but I got it cut from here. So now I'm going to put these wires together with a jumper. This here, and I'm gonna put this here. All right, so I got those wires together with a jumper. Right here, I got a jumper here, which running into this connector here. Now, I'm going to put my other pin. Remember, continuity. Let me. You should hear it. You hear the beat. You hear the beat. So, two, three. I have this stuck on the inside. All right, you had a chance to hear the beeping, and you saw where I plugged this on the inside. So I'm at the prong inside of it, and what I'm gonna do, I'm it's not beeping even though I'm touching. I'm gonna move this wire. You hear that? 
You see, watch it. Here we go. See that? Now I'm on this side of the. Can you see me? Let me see. I don't know. You can't. I'm on this side of the connector right here, but I'm moving the wire right here. See that? That means there's a break, another break in the wire there. Okay? So now, if I had changed this whole soldered, this whole um, connector on with a different connector, I probably would eliminate that. So now these have some more wires that's broken on the inside of this connector that has to be repaired. Um, just wanted to show you that even though the 2-4 was fixed. Now I'm going to have to go and take in this one out and there's some other wire up here that I don't like now. It's a blue one over here. That might be a problem. So in this instant, let me see if you can get closer. Okay. All, right. All I have to do is touch this. Let me see. Touch this wire here and you hear a beep. See that? And once again, like I said, the pin is here on the opposite side. Let's see. There's the pin right through there. And as I do this, as I'm moving this green thing here. There you go. All right, so. I know there's a problem with this connector. What should I do? Should I cut all of those wires off and just put another connector on? Um, there might be a problem with these type of connectors, so maybe I should just go individually and just start repairing e every one. Not every one, but the ones that don't seem to be doing like they're supposed to. I know at least I got two. That one and I got another one I'm going to have to do. So. You already saw what I did with the 2-4 wire, so I'm going to have to do that with this wire. See, this is why you can't say that the transmission is bad at first. Because now you have this issue with the wiring. Before, with old vehicles, where there was no electronics, if the transmission was bad, it was bad. But in this instance, you can't say the transmission is bad until first. Um we fixed these wiring now this transmission was put in we could tell because it has some writing on the side over there right there so somebody put this transmission in and it had a problem so once again here they are here for me to try to figure out this hard junk right now I'm tired of this hard junk but here we go actually I guess it's not that hard but it's time consuming so we got to fix that then I'm going to have to test it again and see if it's shifting right. So when I look at this harness here, okay, I'm already had to fix this. There has a a break in here. But I see another one here that I'm going to deal with. You can see that right there is is already don't look good. It's kind of broken. I'm going to fix that one too right there and I don't know how many of these wires I'm gonna have to fix in here but if I get too much I may just end up taking this whole connector off because I'm gonna have to test drive it and make sure it's okay and the computer can see all the signals but I at least got two more to do here yeah all right folks I decided to I'm up at the top of the vehicle, pull this thing up here, and I am going to, one of the two, either change this or fix these, and I'm going to fix every single one of them, or change the harness, because I don't like the fact that I can see little, little small, you know, this part's right there where it looks like it's about to break, right there, right there, they're not... It's, it's, that's what I got from the other so um, these these wires have been stressed out if you get a harness make sure you get one from a, a later year very later it's 09 um, I'm going to take each individual 
one of these wires apart and solder them in because I don't trust them it's just that bottom line I need to make sure that they are right so I can know whether this is a wiring or transmission problem well from what I can tell it's a wiring problem a wiring issue so um, this is going to be time consuming to take every single one of these out they don't make any wiring harnesses for this still would be time consuming because you had to cut all these wires and I believe there's 23 of them so he's going to be cutting and soldering repositioning and make sure you don't mess up and you get wires crossed I don't care how you think that you won't do that it's possible okay you can see where it has some damage right there where it looks like it's, it's about to break right there and that white one so it's all of them that's what they were doing and I don't when if I fix these the ones I fix I don't want to have a chance of having to deal with these all over again so I'm get it done get it done right and finished okay all right I called to see if I can get a connector from a parts store and or a junkyard a newer one and they never called me back tell me what they could do uh, what I decided to do is take every single wire out and start soldering them and shrink um, wrapping them and everything myself so everything that's all white are the ones I've done and you can see a lot of other ones there I still got more to go I think I started about 1.30 and it's about almost 4 30 now taking these apart pulling them out solder them putting them back together so i got more to go there's 23 of these things to do but i'm going to make sure that i don't have to worry about this i don't mind doing this anyway now i know the wire is going to be good but some of them i use the butt connectors to shrink that has the the um, glue inside and then some of them i will I solder the ones I soldered was if the wire was a skinny wire because I didn't want it to be wiggling around in the butt connector I've had that time happen before when you crimped it still had a bad connection or well, because it was wiggling around in there so this time I solder it this small one to a big one here so I got a lot more to go probably won't be done before it's time to go to leave work today unless I stay late Boy, a lot to do. All right. On this 09 van, I finally finished redoing every single one of these wires. As you can see, all this white wire. And some of them, I used butt connectors. And some, I soldered. The ones I soldered, if there was a smaller wire... That I was connecting to because I didn't want it to have a chance of wiggling inside of the connector uh, the crimp so I would solder that one the, the ones that were bigger I just used the uh, cr crimp and shrink the shrink uh, what's that stuff called uh, shrink tube or whatever it is uh, butt connectors that's what it is okay so now I did every single one. There's 23 of these things, I believe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7. 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 20, 1, 2. Yeah, 23 of these things. Now, would I do this again? I don't know. Because this take a lot of time. It take a lot of time to take them out, take them apart, solder them then put them back in sometimes they didn't want to fit back in because they were too big maybe they had to grind some of the solder down then stick it back in you have to stick until it click there's a little tab here that will click if you don't click you'll push it out when you try and put it together and then had to solder these things back together I think next time what you can do is take them apart pull them out and then check them to see if they're broken by bending them and stick that one back in you that might be better suited than just taking everyone out and soldering new ones on like I did I sure probably won't do that again tell you the truth I was trying to get a 
Uh, another connector from a newer van from a salvage yard and I had a salesman named Eric who didn't get in contact with me again I'm saying his name but you don't know where he work and I'm not gonna say his last name but when he see this video he gonna know who I'm talking about Eric didn't send me the connector which made me have to go through this so once again now we're gonna put this on see if all of those electrical codes go away there shouldn't be any problem now because none of these wires are broken so I'm gonna have to put all this together and then we'll test drive it and now we'll see if we have an issue I do know this transmission was put in this car because I could see it so maybe they had this problem and then put a transmission in and still had the problem alright so this is what it looked like all this stuff here I made them a little longer so that it won't be stressed out when hooking to the transmission another thing in here I want to see, show is that these had weather seals in here uh, inside of it it had um, right there it had weather seals inside I didn't put a weather seal inside now I guess you can leave it this way or you can take some glue and um, glue all this together but if you do that you won't be back probing this one but I don't care about back probing this now I'm ready to put this back in so you have to decide what you want to do with that since there's no weather seals in there but regardless this thing's gonna last a long time anyway so alright together it goes <laughs> 